This is a video of me basically packing my pack with all the things that I take on a backpacking trip. That's guy crunching food off camera. Maybe you can see her a little bit. Starting off everything with my pack, which is an Osprey Stratus 36. It's a little small. It's mostly rated for a day pack, but I find that I can get most of my uh, hammocking gear and things that I need for brief overnight and short backpacking trips and whatnot. This does the job. What's already in here is my Camelback 100 ounce water bladder. The first thing that goes in is my Enlightened Equipment Revelation 10 top quilt. Hello, Sky. And it just goes right in. Oh, girl. Sky wants to get in on the video. Now, with that done, the next thing that goes in is my Hammock Gear Incubator 20 underquilt. And in similar fashion, I just tough it in. With that in, the next thing to go in is my hammock. And as you can see, it's all strewn about. But it is a Eagle Nest Outfitters double nest. However, I did remove the stuff sack that was sewn into the side of it. It was kind of coming unfurled anyway. And I just want to free up the little bit that it did, which was only one ounce. And I'm taking a bug net. This is an Eno Guardian bug net. I definitely want to get something lighter since that's like 16 ounces, but I got to do with what I can. I'm also going to push, put the rest of my sleep system in there, which this is just a uh, neck pillow. It's the only pillow I use for my head. But I do pack another pillow, and that is this monstrosity, which actually I use under my knees, but I'm thinking about not using it anymore. But for the time being, I'm going to pack it anyway. Just as another precautionary measure is a balaclava, because it's supposed to be 30 degrees overnight. So let's see, I also have a Sea to Summit dry sack. And now this, I'm going to stuff a lot of the smaller stuff in, like my 25 feet of lashing, which will be used as a ridge line for my tarp. I'm also going to put my Dyneema stra tree straps in there, as well as my stakes with uh, each stake has about five feet of zingit added to it. And I also have some lightweight carabiners that came with my Eno double nest, which I'll use to attach the whoopee slings to the tree straps. And they'll all go in dry sack. I'm also taking a little power bank battery for recharging my cell phone. I'm taking a Frog Togs poncho. And that's going in regardless, even though the weather calls for completely clear skies, I don't care. I've been caught too, way too many times with my pants down because of stupid weather and I'm not letting it happen again. And yes, I'm putting it inside my pack. I can easily get to it if I need. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I do take some ibuprofen and headache medicine and also I'm on a daily res regiment of doxycycline so I also put that in there. Inside the top of my pack, I put my headlamp which this is just a cheapo Coleman headlamp. We're going to be trying out the Sawyer Squeeze as our uh, water filtration system. We still have the Catadyne Vario, which we've taken out for like a year, over a year now. And it's worked out really well, but I need something that's lighter weight. The, the Vario is 20 ounces. So this is so light, and I, I just, I wanted to try it out to see how well it would work. And I'm taking both 32 ounce bags and the, the plunger, even though I don't think I'll need the plunger. But I'm leaving this end on because my intention is to fill the bladders while they're still in the packs. And I tested this out at home and it fits right on there and I can compress the, you know, squeeze the bag in, hose stays on, everything's rock solid. I couldn't be happier. Um, also with the 32 ounce bags, I know each bag's a liter, so all I have to do for elect for mine is three of these bags. For my wife, she has a two, uh, two liter bladder in hers. I'll have to do two bags for her. So that's why I'm taking the extra bags just to 
so I don't have to keep running into the water as much. This is where I usually put my uh, Vario. Uh, my wife picked it up and she thought it would be useful as a sit pad. But basically, I forgot what it's supposed to be. It's some sort of yoga thing. Yeah, the only other thing I'm putting on this side is my little food bowl thing and Crocs, which are an absolute essential when crossing streams and whatnot. Pretty much one of the last things that goes on is my tarp. And luckily I've got a little space on the bottom where I can strap these on. My wife does not. I guess I should say that the last thing I put in, because you're probably probably noticing, hey, you didn't put any food in there. Well, or a cook stove or any of that. Well, my wife and I always go out on backpacking trips. So she usually carries the stove, the fuel, and the food. <laughs> Except unless it's on really long trips, then I'll carry my own food. But uh, mostly I carry my own granola. So the side pockets of the Osprey is where I usually keep my granola. And they're so big that I can fit six granola bars in each pouch. And for a two day trip, that's overkill. But I like to think, what if something happens and I end up stranded out in the woods for a considerable period of time? What am I going to need? I'm going to need food. What am I not going to have? Food, because I didn't pack any. So at least I'll have a bounty of granola bars to uh, pull from. Let's see, we're looking at about 21 pounds. And that is fully loaded. So, that's not too bad. Now about the only other thing I'm going to be packing with me is uh, water for my dog. So... That's going to add probably two more pounds. So I'm looking at about 25 pounds total for this pack, which is totally acceptable. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. But I've got enough for cold weather. I've got enough for rain. I've got everything I need for almost every weather condition known to man. And tomorrow, the wife and I go to Indiana to hike the Adventure Hiking Trail, which is 25.5 miles. Uh, all the reviews that we've seen say it's a uh, great preparation for the AT. Uh, we'll be the judge of that. I tend to believe that the uh, Ozark Trail, at least the Tom Sox Center of the Ozark Trail, is probably one of the best you know, preparations you can do for the AT. Uh, without having done the AT, it's hard for me to know, but next month my questions will be answered. And these are questions that have been built up over the course of a year, if not more. So uh, I'm extremely interested to find, figure it all out. I'm, uh, I have this feeling like we're gonna get out there and after several days of hiking, I'll just be like, this isn't anything. Which will just reinforce my desire to wanna through hike the entire Appalachian Trail. But, you know, people who work, you know, they, they can't really get away, you know. They have to, they gotta do what they do to survive. So it's one of those things. Anyway, that was my video. Uh, thanks for watching.